Have you checked in on Foursquare for this episode yet? What do you mean, no? What's wrong with you? <laughs> I don't even know if we're friends anymore. Hey guys, it's Social Thursday. Today we're talking about Foursquare, in case you couldn't guess. They recently redesigned their web brand pages and you need to know about it, whether your location is real or mobile. Foursquare is still and further becoming a great discovery site for users. Even if you don't have a brick and mortar shop that people can check into, your brand should definitely have a brand page on Foursquare. One of the first things you'll notice about the web pages for brands is that there is a banner now, just like on every other social network. The new banners are 860 by 130 pixels for you to upload some beautiful branding to your brand page so it feels more like home when people visit. You'll also see photos here from people who checked in to your business. Since these are so prominent on brand pages, if you do have a location where people are checking in, it's very important to track what images show up here because if something not so favorable shows up, then you might wanna fix that. So definitely make sure you are paying attention to what your Foursquare brand page looks like. There's also a great system on the back end with a dashboard that tells you about your engagement. Your analytics are laid out in graphs that tell you about new like activity happening with your brand. So that could be new likes of your brand overall, could be likes of tips that you've left, likes of any check-ins you may have done from the brand, and even any lists that you have that people are subscribing to. Those of you who are not brick and mortar should have heard the part where I said tips and check-ins and lists, because these are the features that you can take advantage of if you don't have a place of business where you can still get your brand name out there when people are checking into other places. I have lists of places I like to go to get creative. I leave tips. Even though people are checking in somewhere else, I'm one of the things that they might see when they're checking in of what people are saying about this place. Hello, look at me, look at me. How else could you do that on Foursquare? You can't. You should do it. On your brand page, you can also see how many people have liked your brand, and so I think you should hop over to their pages and see what they're talking about. Maybe like one of their check-ins or a tip, see what lists they have that you would wanna subscribe to. This is all called engagement, and it's possible on Foursquare just like every other social network. Whoever said Foursquare's dead is not my friend. Cause I am obsessed with it. I'll be quiet now. Okay, thanks for watching. I appreciate everything that you do. And it's the last video of the week, but there's more next week. So make sure you subscribe. I make videos every Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. And so if you want more of them, you'll come back. Okay. And like this video if you thought it was useful or funny or not. I don't care. I just want that button pushed. Push that button. Thank you so much. Tweet me, Ashfantastic, at Savvy Sexy Social, and I'll see you next week. Bye.